Hey guys, the only Python 4 here, bringing you a brand new slice of gaming chosen by you in the previous What to Play Next poll. The game selected originally came out in 1995 for North America and 1994 in Japan for the Super Nintendo. There was a lot of fan lobbying behind this game in order to bring it to the Virtual Console in 2013, despite rumors of licensing issues and the fact that when this game came out on the Super Nintendo, it didn't sell very well in the West due to the simplistic graphics that it had, in comparison to, of course, Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger, which came out around the same time. It's the only one of the series that was officially released in North America. Here, it is simply known as... Earthbound. It is called Mother 2 in Japan, so you're probably wondering what happened to the first Mother game and there's also a third Mother game. Well, those two are only available as a fan translation. They're not officially translated by Nintendo. At least, maybe not yet. There was a lot of fan lobbying behind this game to bring it to the West again for the Wii U Virtual Console and for the Wii Virtual Console. So maybe we'll see the original one and also the third one here, it's hard to say. But speaking of those licensing issues, there's a lot of references in this game, in its imagery and in its music, some of which had to be changed in the North American release because it may cause a lawsuit. The first of which is that title screen where we saw it was the war against Gygas. It was changed from Gygas Strikes Back, but that was in order to prevent a possible lawsuit against you know, Empire Strikes Back. It also doesn't make a lot of sense for us in the West when it says Giga Strikes Back when we have no idea who this character is at all. So, this game is very bizarre. It is a very good word to describe it. As I mentioned before, it may have a little bit more simple graphics, but where this game excels at is its dialogue, and you will see a lot of that as we play through this game. The dialogue is fantastic. And I hope everyone gives this game a try, honestly, it's fantastic. It really is. So without further ado, let's get started on this, shall we? So let's kick things off here by starting a brand new game. And one of the things I really like when you first get started here, other than, you know, pick, picking your text option and picking what your sound is going to be like, you can change what the menu style is too. I like the plain flavor, it's nice, simplistic, I'm also very boring. Here's the infamous protagonist, famous in his appearance for Super Smash Bros. If you pick Don't Care, it will just go with his default name, which is what we're going to go with. This is Ness. This young lady, her name is... Paula. My friend here, his name is Jeff. This friend has the unfortunate name of Pooh. Here's our pet, which only joins us once. His name is King. Favorite homemade food? His is steak. I don't like steak. I've never had a good steak. Anyways, favorite thing? Video games, but here it's rocking. Everything here is all fine and good. Let's get going. The year is 1990X. Annette, a small town in Eagle Land. Ness's house. Seems like a lot of these older Super Nintendo games start off with the protagonist asleep, only to be rudely w awakened by something. Right on cue. Right, so here we have Ness in his pajamas at the moment, and here we have our menu system. We can talk to nothing. We can check out what items we have. Currently only the ATM card. We can equip things. We don't have anything right now. We can check out our status. Everything looks good. We can also check for items and other different hidden things. So let's go see how our uh, family has 
reacted to that loud noise outside. Check up on our sister here first. Hey, bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Well, yes, I'm up in my pajamas, and I see you're dressed. Here is this game's treasure chest, the present. So we're going to open the present for our first weapon, the cracked bat. I'm sure our sister won't mind if we take this for us. I'm pretty sure she was just probably going to give it to us anyways, and if not, we'll pretend that she was. So with that out of the way, let's go see who's downstairs and how they're doing. Here's our mother. Mother, how are you doing? What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyways, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. You can also ignore her, too, and just go outside in your pajamas. She really doesn't care if you leave or not, it seems like, at all. So, the infamous outfit of the baseball hat and the striped shirt. Before we go out, though, let's check up on our pet. He seems to not care. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? There was a loud noise outside. Nobody's on the phone. Can't call for help, unless help's already here. Let's check out the town. Anything in our mailbox? Nope. Oh, maybe this young man will give us some advice. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Wait, what? Meteorites? Maybe the police will have some more information. Onet police are infamous for closing roads if something's going on. We're going for the world record. You do that. Oops. Try from this way. Don't panic, it's just a what? A meteorite that who? Fell? I just want to what? Go home. You are the best police officers this town could ever ask for. At least you're good at closing roads, I'll give you that. So what's this guy's problem? Did you hear the Big Bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. You're certainly uh, moving quite fast there. Guess I'll have to be the first to get there, sorry. Alright, let's check up on our neighbor's house. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home, so I'm home watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went to an elegant restaurant. It's always a good idea, leaving the younger brother here at home. I'm sure he won't have a party or anything of the sorts. Nothing here. Let's get out of here. Make sure you watch the house, Picky. I'll see you later. Meanwhile, this guy, he's still... That guy is still working real hard to become the first person. Oh, there he is. Let's see if we can go get up there. Run faster, guy. You'll make it eventually. Alright, another police officer. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home. Pronto! I love that they tell me these things, but they don't actually enforce it. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Once again, a uh, awesome police officer right there. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? At least he's smart about it. Once again, these police officers doing their duty the best they can. Sing the present up there. Hey you, don't you know what time it is? Actually, I, I don't. I know it's in the middle of the night, but that's all I really know. Let's head up here. Hello, sir. Hey Ness, hey you buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, almost told you about my, uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. It's my real job, you know, I'm the billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Sure. Oops. Treasure Hunter, this is Liar X Aggregate's house. That's, uh, quite the name you have there. That meteorite looks different than usual. 
It's strange and marvelous as well as mysterious. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Really? Wow. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? I guess? And you live in the house next to his. I see. Shh, shh. Okay. Clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, out of my way, get out of my... Whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way. I wonder what happens if you say no. We're not friends. You're not friends, but you're neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Oh, fine. Get out of here. Not you. You. Hey, Ness! Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Whoops! I mean the officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Yeah, whatever. You know, he's he's fine. I saw the meteorite from a distance. Everything's good. I'm fine. I'm satisfied. Before we go, though, let's get that present we saw before. I always keep talking to things. Hey, our first healing item. Alright, there's nothing else for us to check out here. Pokey can find his own way home. He'll be fine. He's a grown boy. I'm sure everything will be good. Let's go home and tell mom and sister what we've seen. It's not too terribly interesting. It's just meteorite, whatever. I'm sure it's fine. Please have it under control, clearly. That guy... I'm sorry, but you're not the first to see it. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Fine. Well, back to sleep. Later that night. Oh, now what? Alright, let's go see who is knocking at the door in that matter. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Can you imagine standing in somebody, like somebody standing in front of your door and just doing this for a good five minutes? Mom, why aren't you answering the door? My land, who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? Why, why, why can't you? I got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. Fine, I'll get the door. Pokey, what are you doing here? Hey, l listen to what I've got to say. When I took Piggy to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, good evening, man. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, the police were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly. To deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks are the local ruffians. And they were going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Piggy was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Alright, we're not friends, but I'll help you find him. Just to get that sorted out. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Fine. I know that dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The crack back in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Thanks, Mom. Remember, to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. But I like my pajamas. They're comfortable and cozy and warm. Let's go pay a visit to our sister before we do anything, though. Oh, she's not even in here. Maybe she's down the stairs. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Sweet. Another healing item. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want me to hang on to something? I have two items right now, so no. Yeah, sure, you're cool, whatever. <laughs> what? Why is it suddenly so... Okay, whatever, Mom. Do you want me to go with you? Yeah, I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Hey, the more help we have, the better. Alright, I think we're good to go now. I guess I can't check his status since he's 
just a temporary party member. Nobody on the phone still. Alright, let's go. Alright, you go in front and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going! You are going to be the most useless temporary party member. And the phone's ringing. Mom, answer the phone! Could you get that? You are the laziest person! And Tracy's just like, whatever, I'm going back to my room. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard a weird saying like that? No. Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave, you can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I can just see him sitting on his desk, like, just with a notebook ready whenever the phone rings. Here's our first encounter of the game, so let's take a look at the battle system, shall we? So yes, the background is a little bit weird, but let's explain to you what's going on here. Bash is our basic attack, and we have goods so we can use items in case we need to. PSI, we don't have any yet, but that's our magic. Of course, we got auto fight, which is amazing! I love auto fight, it is so good. And we have, of course, defend, which is in every RPG ever, and run away! So, the first thing we can do here is, of course, to hit this thing. So, the thing with Spiteful Crow is that you have to be careful with it. Because sometimes it can steal an item, but the good thing about it is that it will always drop cookies in case you need them. So if you need more food, this is a good place for getting them. Also, you'll notice that uh, there's a lot of things going on in the battle here, but simply put, King will sometimes help. Pokey will never do anything ever. He'll act all innocently like he just did, or he'll just do just these random things, like hide behind you, apologize, a lot of other things. So hey, our first experience and our granted cookie that we're going to be guaranteed to get 100% whenever we fight those things. So there's another enemy behind us here, the coiled snake, but first, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and fight that thing. Why not? Engage the coiled snake! These things suck when you're fighting them because they'll only give you one experience point. So, if you want to level up here, this is definitely not the ideal enemy to fight. If you need experience, there's another creature around here that gives you more experience than those spiteful crows did. Yeah, what experience! But with that, we, hey, we have level 2 now. But more importantly, when we gain a level, we also get some stat boost, so our offense, our HP goes up, and we have our first PSI spell, Life Up Alpha which is our very first healing spell. So we can use it, cost us 5 PP, and now we're all fine and good. Let's go to Pokey's house here and see... No, we're not gonna... okay. Guess we can see if that roadblock is still there. Hey Ness, so are you just gonna wander around wherever you please? Don't you think we should focus on getting Picky home? Oh, fine. Oh, we better fight this thing before we go any further. Bash it! Aw, oh, that's too bad. I was hoping he could help out. Don't you steal my cookies! Ooh, nice! Whenever you see a smash like that, that is a critical hit. Ooh, another cookie. I'm gonna have so many cookies by the end of this. Alright, well, now let's go to his house. Hey Ness, like I said, my dad isn't home yet. You've got to bring Picky back before he comes home. I'll try to help you a little. You are not helping at the slightest. You are just dead weight. So I think we know where he is. He's probably by the meteorite, so let's go hang out there and fight some snakes on the way there. By fighting snake, I mean we just bash it. King, thank you for barking. One more hit should do it, hopefully. 
Oh, that's our first damage, oh no! There you go. Alright, let's move on here. Maybe we'll have that other enemy run into us. Ah, oh, another one of you? Okay, next time we run into those things, I'll just fight him off of recording, I suppose. Just because we've seen him a few times. Yeah, smiling and sincerely, that's so helpful. Thank you. Thanks, King. One more experience for... That's so bad, one more experience. Alright, here's another one. As promised, I'm gonna fight this thing off of recording here, so give me one second. So that guy has been taken care of. Ah, here he is, the runaway dog. This is the enemy that will give you the most experience in this area out of the three. So, if, like I mentioned before, if you need levels, then this is a good enemy to fight, the best enemy. Besides, sometimes it also decides to just do nothing. That's kind of the nice thing about when you fight random battles, is sometimes the enemies just won't do anything at all. So you can use that to your advantage. Very nice. Good stats there. Let's make our way towards the meteor. Another runaway dog. Yes. Let's fight him. I think this time, though, I'm gonna use auto fight and just put down the controller. Let the game do all of the work for me. One of the nice things is when you use auto battle and when you get too weak, the character will just use a healing spell on themselves without having to use an item, which is really nice. Oh, nice, another smash. I'll definitely be using a lot of autos later, just to level up. To the meteor! Another one of these snakes. I like how he edges closer too, though. I'm gonna take care of this guy also off recording, so he'll be right back. And we're back! I feel like it's been a long time since we've had to do that, and I guess it has been. Hey, Ness! I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Something tells me that you are... probably a liar, but I don't know what that could possibly be. Oof! If I knew it was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Bravest dog in the land. Picky? What? Oh! You woke me up! Pokey, I've been looking all over for you! You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Oh, let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Gee, sometimes I wonder which one of us the real Big Brother. Which one of us is the real Big Brother? It's interesting how much that story has changed, Pokey. Yes. Do you hear a buzzing sound that sounds like a bee flying around? No. Oh, come on, you must hear it. Now I hear it. Perfect place to land. A bee I am. Not. I am from ten years in the future. And... In the future, all is devastation. Gygas, the Cosmic Destroyer, the Universal Cosmic Destroyer, sent all the horrors of external darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the Chosen Boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the Nightmare Rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Gygas's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have some time to counter the evil intentions of Gygas. Three things are the utmost important. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygas. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. 
You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I've told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as, as exceptional as I expected you to be. All right. We got the uh, bee from the future. Buzz Buzz in our party. Ness, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Trust me, you are the last person I would recruit to be in my party. So, since we found Buzz Buzz, there's no enemies around now. That's funny, I have something to tell you, only you. Can you come visit me later alone? Well, that doesn't sound creepy at all, but sure, I'll come visit him later. Let's escort these boys back home and uh, get started on our adventure to save the future. So as I mentioned, there's no enemies around, so it's a nice peaceful walk all the way back home. And Buzz Buzz is here to protect us too, I believe. With Buzz Buzz's help and when we find our new friends, we're going to be just fine. Oh. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You are no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Oh great, what is this? Starman Jr.? I'm not ready for this! It's okay, we're good. We have Buzz Buzz on our team. Let's bash him. Plus he has the PSI shield. We're gonna be okay. And we have Picky here to help us out. Not Pokey, just get out of here. Just go home. You'll be fine. Oh, look at that attack that Buzz Buzz did. You're gonna be helpful, man. Every little bit counts. Oh, fire beta. Aw, oh, nice. That shield's definitely helped us. Put that shield back on. Oh, yes. I want to be protected from that fire attack. Apologizing isn't gonna help us here. Oh, nice. Sometimes during this fight, uh, Picky can also kill him, too. Also, this fight is scripted. You can't lose even if you do nothing. Whew, I was taking a big chance there. He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygas, as well as humans with evil thoughts. Who have evil thoughts. They will definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygas' influence over the evil in their minds. It's the truth, so listen! Alright. Can I go home yet? No, probably not. Let's just drop these boys off. Oh my god, what is that? Ugh. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. Oh, that's a woman. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. This audio here... ...was changed from the original Japanese version, because it was definitely more of a smack. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. Why? I'm tired of your family living next door. We loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less, but because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with children. Oh well, nice guys finish last, that's the story of our life. Yay! I think it's a dung beetle, I'll smash your guts out. Buzz Buzz, no! What do you think about all this? Oh, I'm so tired. Nag, nag, nag. You killed the hero. My husband is very soft-hearted. I wonder how these two are doing. Oops. My dad really got after me. He said I'll get no dessert for the rest of the decade. Oh, man. I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. You're a smart boy, Picky. Wish your brother was the same, but he's not. 
Alright, now with that out of the way, let's actually see how he's doing. <gasps> I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See, you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygas, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yep. Alright, you are a very intelligent young man, and... Oh, the pain! Everything is getting dark. Oh. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations. Into the stone. It's an awesome item! By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story? Nope. Good. It's already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Aw, oh. oh, buzz buzz. I need your PSI shield. Come back. Oh well. So without further ado, as the sun rises, our adventure in Onet begins. Next time!